amazing how all these people approach from the side, look at me filming, and walk directly into the camera to block my shot of what I'm trying to get and make sure that they get on the camera themselves. But at least nobody's told me not to take their picture after they did that. Now we have more people walking through on the other side of the crime scene tape. Looks like that tape was put up just to keep me back because they don't seem to be hassling other people who are walking around on the other side of it. Okay. Wow. Everything seems to have cleared wow. up up here. Wow. I know you know it. Here is that this fire engine's leaving. And we got a helicopter up there. So I'm guessing they're still looking for the person. Somebody told me that they found her. They caught her. But if she was already caught, the helicopter wouldn't be arriving now. Crime lab. Combing the sidewalk for probably for blood. Trying to get every last spatter marked. You see them putting down the little gauze strips or whatever they are on top of the blood marks. And now she's sprinkling some fairy dust there. That's that stuff that, I don't remember what they call it, but that's, uh, it makes the blood glow so that they can spot it easily. Now, this is insane the way they've got this taped off. You got a piece of crime scene tape here, and another one going across the street over there, and another one going across the street over there. In the meantime, they've got tape on the edge of the sidewalk on this side, all the way across, so nobody could enter that area anyway. Now the helicopter's hovering directly above us here. There it is. There's a tree in the way, that's why. The tree was not blocking my eyes, but it was blocking the camera. Half the police have left. Crime lab looks like they wrapped up. 
They're back going back to their bed. I guess not. He's picking up the little patch things. <laughs> Still looking around for blood spots. Sir, you gotta leave. No more, no more warnings. Leave. You have to leave. Oh, this way. This way. This way. This way. That's not a lawful order. It's not a lawful It's a public sidewalk. If we're not interfering with what he's doing, then we're outside the crime tape. He can't make us leave. Or at least the law says he can't make us leave. These cops have very little respect for the law. He's now extending the crime scene to the wall of the parking garage. It's our First Amendment right, according to the Constitution, to be here filming and to be on a public sidewalk, as long as we're outside the crime scene tape. And that's the fourth time he's told me I got to leave. But he hasn't threatened to arrest me or, or, or done anything besides telling me I got to leave. If he comes back here, I'm going to ask him his name and badge number, too, because he's, uh, he's giving us unlawful orders. See a helicopter still up there? Yeah, that's a traffic cop, motorcycle squad, you can tell by the right shirt. And, uh, but I don't know what he's doing in a... a Cruiser. He's in a car. But he's traffic detail. Helicopter's still up there, and it's so noisy I can't hear anything. I hope you can hear what I'm saying. Cop in the military get up over here guarding the driveway entrance to the building. These people, I suppose, are residents there because they're on the property and they're inside the crime scene. And if they didn't live there, they wouldn't be allowed, I'm guessing.
two crime lab vehicles here. You know what happened? I got here as the ambulance was leaving. What? I got here as the ambulance was leaving, and the police aren't talking, so I don't know what happened. They're, they're trying to chase me from the area and stop me from filming. But the law says as long as I'm outside the crime scene tape, it's my First Amendment right. It's a public sidewalk. Okay, this guy is obviously a detective. You see him open carrying. He's in plain clothes. Now they've got somebody guarding the entrance to the apartment building. They didn't before. For most of the time. Helicopter's still hovering up there. This looks like it's pretty much over. Okay, here we go. As you can see, we've got this car parked across 14th. Locking off the off Collins Avenue, so apparently there's nothing going, going on, on up, up there. He's just blocking traffic and making them turn on 14th so that they don't go through the crime scene down there. So why is the helicopter hovering above us instead of a block down? And has been the whole time. When I got up and left the park, I was originally headed to 14th and Washington to this bodega where I always shop in order to get uh, something to eat and another pack of cigarettes. And when I got to 14th and Collins, I saw the, all the commotion to the south and I went down there to see what, what was going on at 13th and Collins, which is apparently where the stabbing occurred. Somebody was stabbed and collapsed in the parking lot in front of the building. Rescue took him away on the gurney over there. The perpetrator, apparently a woman, ran up Collins and west on 14th and came over here. And while I was down there filming the crime lab, and everybody else, the they were arresting the woman right here in front of the bodega. And if I had ignored the police down on 13th and Collins and continued across 14th Street to go get my food and cigarettes, I would have been able to film her arrest. But wait, there's more to this story. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. It's Miami Beach Audits, and I'm out. Stay tuned for part three.